Do you have fatty liver? Or do you have diabetes? Or do you have both together? In this video, I'm going to tell you the 10 best fruits for those with fatty liver and diabetes, and also the five worst, the ones you will avoid. You will moderate consumption, you will reduce. Because many people have asked, I have already made a specific video about fatty liver and another about diabetes. And many people questioned it. Which ones are best for these two situations? The principle of the best and also the worst fruits are very similar principles. You have to understand two things. I know you're curious to know the list of the best and worst, but you won't eat anything if you don't know these two principles here. That's key. Even more important than knowing which are the best fruits. Because if you understand that, you can better control both fatty liver and diabetes, and you will understand why one food is better and another is worse. The two things I want you to know. The first concept is the concept of glycemic index. What is it? What is the glycemic index? It's when you eat, you're going to do the digestion. How much will that food raise your blood sugar? The simpler a carbohydrate is, a simpler sugar, the higher the glycemic index will be. If you add fiber, for example, you'll slow down that absorption. So it's going to lower the glycemic index. That's why one of the tips, if you've seen other videos, is to increase your fiber intake because that way you reduce the glycemic index so you don't have that blood sugar spike so you're not going to have the increased insulin secretion an insulin spike to try to compensate for that and this process this metabolic alteration is present both so have a preference for foods fruits of low glycemic index and you're thinking but what is low glycemic index i'll provide the definition so you can understand this ranking this classification I considered a low glycemic index to be up to 55 here, moderate from 56 to 69, high, greater than or equal to 70. Once you understand this, you also have to know the concept of glycemic load. Just as important as the glycemic index is the glycemic load. That's how much sugar is in each serving in each amount. Now that you know what a glycemic load is, you have to understand what a low, moderate, and high glycemic load is. Up to 9 grams of carbohydrate per serving is a low glycemic load from 10 to 19, medium or moderate, and greater than or equal to 20 grams per serving is a high glycemic load. Those portions that you're going to avoid, you'll understand now with the rating. If you didn't understand this concept, go back a little bit in the video because it's fundamental. This is for your life, not only to understand the content of the video, but also to be able to better understand how these diseases work. Why? There's no point in having a moderate or low glycemic index and having a very high glycemic load. It's also going to be bad for you, both in liver fat and in diabetes. So, the concept of glycemic load is how much sugar is in each serving. To be able to compare, I put equal portions. What is the portion? 120 grams. Because otherwise, there's no way to compare. Comparing a grape to a watermelon, there's no way. Watermelon is much larger. That comparison is not going to be valid. So that's why this list that I'm going to give you is a little different from other lists that you find on the internet because many only consider the glycemic index. And here I'm also considering the glycemic load because it's just as important as the glycemic index. Perhaps even more importantly, let's make a goal of 10,000 likes because this way the video is distributed, the platform understands that the content is relevant and ends up spreading it to more people. We've seen that millions and millions of people have fat in the liver and also diabetes. So let's go. What's number one? I'll start with the best fruits for liver fat and diabetes. The first one that can be consumed on both occasions, the plum, because the plum has a low glycemic index of 40 and a low glycemic load of 6. So both in terms of quantity and glycemic index, it's a good fruit for both situations, along with numerous antioxidants, vitamins, and several benefits of consuming the fruit. Many people are afraid, both in diabetes and in fatty liver, who have hepatic steatosis to consume fruits because of the fructose. This is a big myth. You can not only consume them, but should consume fruits, right? So number one, plum. Number two, dragon fruit. A lot of people are surprised when I say this, but dragon fruit has a low glycemic index of 46 and a low glycemic load of 7. And number three, cherry. Cherry, not only does it have numerous studied benefits, 
It can also help you if you have fatty liver or diabetes because it has a low glycemic index of 20 and a low glycemic load of 6. So cherry is one of the best fruits for those with diabetes and also fatty liver. So you're wondering, is it canned cherry? No, it's the fresh cherry, got it? Canned cherry isn't worth it. I know that the price of cherry is higher, but I included it in the list because there are many people from other countries who can get it for a more affordable price. Or even, if you have the chance to buy cherry, it's worth it because it's one of the best fruits. Number four, the best foods in the world. One of the best fruits you can eat, not only if you have diabetes or fatty liver, but for your overall health is apples. Apples have a glycemic index of 38 and a glycemic load of 6. Apples offer several benefits such as pectin which can improve cholesterol levels and it also contains potassium which can help to regulate high blood pressure. So several benefits in addition to antioxidants and vitamins it's worth your while to eat apples. Bear in mind that apples should be eaten with their skin this applies to all fruits on this list. So, apples with skin, because it increases the fiber content and reduces the glycemic index, thus slowing absorption. And all fruits are fresh fruits, also very crucial. I know you're going to ask about juices. Is apple juice any good? Orange juice, mango juice, grape juice, even if it's whole fruit? No, juices are concentrated and are low in fiber, so in the case of apple juice, which I'm putting as number four on the list. It's not good for those who have fatty liver or diabetes. Does that mean it's completely prohibited? No, but you will want to avoid juices because they contain very simple carbohydrates, simple sugars, thus they have a high glycemic index and are concentrated, which gives them a high glycemic load, so avoid juices. I'm not going to include it in the list here, but you guys asked a lot in the other video about lemon, as you're hardly going to eat a lemon. But lemon juice is good because it's not very concentrated. It has a low glycemic index and a low glycemic load, so lemon juice is good. It's not going to count here. Let's move on to number five, also one of the best fruits, which is the strawberry because it has a glycemic index of 41 and a glycemic load of 3. So strawberries make our list. In addition to being from the group of red fruits, it has several antioxidants that help your body, anti-inflammatory properties, so it is worth consuming strawberries. Number six, guava. It has a glycemic index of 23 and a glycemic load of 3. So, excellent. In both situations, you already understand how it works more or less. If this video is helpful to you, if you are learning, can understand and comprehend better about fatty liver and also diabetes. Don't forget to leave your like. This is very important to us here on the channel. Let's make a goal of 10,000 likes. So if it's helping you too, leave a like. Number seven, pear. Pear has a glycemic index of 38 and a glycemic load of four. Also a good fruit in both situations. Number eight, peach. Peach has a glycemic index of 42 and a glycemic load of four. Continuing our list, number nine. This one is also one of the best foods, which is avocado, because it has a glycemic index of 10. That's right, you didn't hear it wrong, and it has a glycemic load of two. Just a note here, avocado is a food. It's a very high calorie fruit, so you need to moderate your portion. It has good fats. It'll also help with cholesterol. It won't harm your metabolism. But if you consume too much avocado, you'll end up taking in too many calories, you will gain weight, and it will worsen the whole insulin resistance process, thus also worsening diabetes and liver fat. So if you moderate your consumption of avocado, that's great. And number 10, our last fruit on the list of the best. If you noticed any fruit missing, write it in the comments, put what this fruit is, and I'll let you know if this fruit is good or bad for diabetes and liver fat. And number 10 is passion fruit, because it has a glycemic index of 27 and a glycemic load of 5. Do you remember I mentioned about juices? That apple juice, orange juice, grape juice weren't good for those with fatty liver and diabetes? So, 
Here, passion fruit joins the team along with the lemon. Passion fruit juice is also beneficial because it has a low glycemic index and a low glycemic load, meaning you consume a reduced amount compared to other fruits. So yes, you can drink it for those who asked in the other video. And if you have any doubts about it, it's also good. So passion fruit is number 10. And now, what are the worst fruits? The ones you should avoid. You'll recall that I already mentioned here that there is no prohibition, meaning that it's not completely forbidden. No, but these are fruits that you need to pay more attention to. If you eat the same serving of the best ones and the same serving of the worst ones that I'm going to talk about here, the latter will increase your blood sugar more and they will have a higher glycemic load. And number one on our list, just to give you an idea and for you to compare, is the banana. It has a glycemic index of 62 and a glycemic load of 16. So in addition to having a higher glycemic index, it has a more concentrated amount of sugar and a greater amount of sugar as well. Number two, pineapple. Oh, but I hear pineapple is good. It's got fiber. Yes, pineapple is a good fruit, but you have to be careful because it has a glycemic index of 66 and a glycemic load of 14, also higher when you compare it to the other fruits. Now the glycemic index, how much that fruit will increase your blood sugar, can vary by the degree of ripeness. Greener fruits will have a lower glycemic index. All the fruits on this list I'm considering here the middle ground, that stage that you find in the market that you consume. So if you like to consume riper fruits, be aware that the glycemic index will be higher. Number three, dried fruits. If you have diabetes or fatty liver, you should avoid this kind of fruit. Take apricot, for instance. When it dries out, it becomes dehydrated. Then its glycemic load increases, it has more carbohydrates, and it has more concentration of sugar. This is absolutely not good for those with diabetes and fatty liver. So take note of that. I'm not going to list all the ranking of dried fruits here because the video would be too long and that's not the goal here. But remember this. Dried fruits, remember, lose water and become more concentrated. So if you have fatty liver or diabetes, you should avoid these fruits, which are dried fruits. Fourth, mango has a glycemic index of 57 and a glycemic load of 16. It's a fruit that has more concentrated sugar. Despite it having more fiber, which helps with digestion and also lowers the glycemic index a bit, if you, if you have diabetes or fatty liver, you have to be careful with your portions. You have to watch the amount of mangoes you're consuming. A lot of people have asked me to discuss a study that was released about mangoes and liver fat. I went to investigate, I read this study, and in fact, it's not with the mangoes, it's with powdered mangoes on animals. So, powdered mangoes on animals. Be careful with the interpretation here. Be careful even with the news. People put it online. So, powdered mangoes on animals under these conditions, had a benefit in reducing fat in the liver, but this was not seen in humans or with the mangoes. Let's then move to number five, which is grapes. I really like grapes, but if you have fatty liver or diabetes, I know it has polyphenols, it has many antioxidants. It's a very good fruit, but it has a glycemic index of 60 and a load of 12. You have to take it easy. You have to pay attention to the amount of grapes you're going to eat. If you like this video, rate it from zero to 10. If it's 10, I'm going to make more videos like this. Also write down which city you're watching this video from, which part of the world. For those of you who've made it this far and aren't subscribed, I invite you to subscribe to the channel here and more importantly, turn on the notification bell, check all the options. So whenever I post, you get a notification from YouTube and can see the new videos. I'm going to leave you two suggestions to watch right now. The first is an entire playlist about liver fat. There, I also talk about better and worse foods because liver fat happens. And the second suggestion down here is for those with diabetes, which is an entire playlist about diabetes. There, you'll find several tips as well. You'll be able to understand different aspects of the disease. So watch here, diabetes or liver fat. Take care.